And we want to be your Poe Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Poe Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Ryhorn Trainer Poke Steven. Is Sean. And welcome to our whole look or to our new location out in Spokane Valley. Yay, uh, we're we now to... located inside the Strike Zone games out in out in the valley. So if you're ever in the neighborhood, come on in. We'll probably be here playing Pokemon or playing in the Nerf Arena or the Arcade or one of the many cool things that are here. Yes. Uh, but you're not here to see us review uh, a, a new store location. We're here to show off another fun deck. And today is definitely no exception. Uh, we're going to show off a list that's a little bit more uh, charming than Serena to yes. say. Uh, so without further ado, we'll jump into a match and see where it goes because... This deck is kind of hilarious in the fact that Serena was a good list, but this may be a good, it's like... more accessible. It is definitely more accessible than Serena, I but mean, even... more maintenance is required because of its low hit points, but it hits almost as hard. Exactly. So, Fighting Psychic Grass Colorless. Is this the one deck that's been... We'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, we won the coin flip. All right, so do we want to go first? No, we want to go second with this deck. Uh, so let's see. Du -du -du. Ow, that is not a good start. Mm. All right. So, yeah, we're going to be exploiting the... Uh, we're exploiting the Lele engine because, you know, why not? We only got one mulligan. That's not too bad. Uh, that's lucky, at least. But we at least got we Ultra don't Ball. We need to be easy to see nothing is unless we have to. Exactly. I mean, until we know what we're up against. But yeah, let's take a look and see see what we can do. All right. So where where are they going to choose? They're going. All right. So it's Garantina at least. Sorry, we're being attacked here. In case you can't tell by that dart. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Well, I'll take the range from here while they sell the, their disputes. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna defend our location. <laughs> As you can tell, we're gonna have fun at this new location. All right, so a ceasefire has been uh, has been secured. All right, so what did I miss? Uh, just so we can know, the Giratina came out, the Inkay came out, and a Ditto, and nothing much else. Okay, okay so they're obviously going off of the the Giratina uh, in Cothagrigus? Yeah. I mean, that's a strong possibility. I, I definitely... What's in the deck first. So... I honestly think we should try to get the loop situated as fast as possible. If not, at least uh, maybe the... Well, I don't want to reveal everything so soon. I would almost say the Ditto and the either Lele or um, oh. another or the other Noibat. What's in our hand? Oh, oh sorry. Wrong button. This got half of it. At least it's we been, got half It's of been it. a while. It, it has. Uh-oh, now we're out of focus. No! Come back to focus. Come on. Unfortunately. All right, well, at least the, the main of the game is still recording, which is good. I'm dead, dead, dead. I hit the wrong button. Oh, well. Even then, next turn, we can It's been how least... long since we've done this? It's definitely been a while. I oh, wish we would have got the DCE, though. Like, if we would have got well, the we DCE. We get nine chances to get it, so... At least nine? Yeah. So then let's see. 
Now if we did, oops. So now let's see. So Sophocles, so they're going to get rid of two cards in hand, a psychic. Yeah, I mean, they're obviously going Malamar, so I don't see why not. Mysterious, we are. We're, we're, we're uh, Giratina's fog. Yeah, we are in Garatina's fog right now. Let's see if we can bring it back. There we go. We're back. All right, so. We'll blame Tim for this. Yeah, well. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, all right. It's fine. <laughs> all right, so let's see. What are we going to do? No. So. Yet. so looks like we're going to have at least one more turn. So. Oh, Coco spread with Giratina. Giratina spread. Because when it comes in, he puts two damage counters. Yeah. All right, so there's the Malamar. Ooh, spell tag. Okay. Uh, psychic recharge. They have got no way to move the energy, so that's good at least. Okay. Uh, that's actually a pretty good setup. I mean, well, Nest Ball to grab out probably the Lele, get that whole well, thing going. I'm going to attain Liza. Nope. Yep. In DC and the and then whatever we, we don't need at least Noivern and or tag. Oh, I got Noivern. Sweet. Now we just kind of need the DCE. Yeah, I would just Noibat. Uh, Should I just Zeb Strike and hope for the DC? Because this doesn't turn on until we actually knock it out. Yeah, I would. Is knocked it, out. It is knocked yeah. out. Yes. So unless we knock it out, we don't take anything. Yeah, because we don't need anything else. So yeah, let's Zep Strike. Come on, DC. Nope, but we can at least be annoying. I would, yep. And at least do some damage. So yeah, uh, the decks again. It's pretty a little slower in terms of the fact that, and it can't re, uh, take as many hits as Serena. But it's actually kind of faster than Serena. Yeah, you have access to rare candy in order to go right into the stage two. But with the the two grass, uh, two grass and colorless price, it's definitely a lot harder to to get going consistently. This at least makes it makes the idea playable, if that makes any sense. All right, so we'll judge. Very nice, I like. Oh, now we got him a choke on the bench. Okay. Um, Except for the fact we didn't get a. Is that the psychic one? Yes, that's the it, psychic actually, one. It doesn't really matter. It's only, it's only GX that it counters too. Exactly. So as long as we maybe keep that in play, just in case we get a surprise. It is a psychic one, though. If, if more relevance, we'll keep the psychic one on. True. Just in case. Unfortunately, we still need one energy. Guzma and a Tate. That kind of makes me sad. But we at least got got set up, so we're kind of looking good there. We don't need a mentor bag now. So he's still confused. And now for the, for yeah, the main of the deck. We're going to take four in return. Oh, oh, it's all right. So resonance to do 140. Take Docking up. Yep. We'll take four. He gets to choose where they go, though. Oh, he does? He gets, it's four damage cards across our board. All right. If he's smart, he's going to go after the Lele. Well, be, and then we'll just start fishing out another one if that were the case. Yeah, that, so that'll be super easy. I mean, we got the DC. Well, and he knows where to put it. Yep. All right. It's not like this engine's unknown. It just exceeded with one, one other Pokemon. Exactly. Soon another. Exactly. So I. So it, soon it'll be in another deck. Oh, yeah, easily. Like, I can't wait for it to come out. So now we just need to. Now, the question is, is he going to retreat into yes. the Garatina, or is he going to try to go with the Garatina? Yeah, Garatina is a knockout. That is true. So, ooh, Judge. That's a good play. Judge isn't a bad card. And then, uh, definitely excuse the sound, because, again, not only is this a game shop, but it's also a Nerf Arena, and there's a game going on right now. Uh, hopefully, we'll get something figured out in the future, but we're, we're still learning the new space. Uh, I don't do that. I would actually go with the uh, either Magirna or Lele, only so that we can set up the Noivern. Yeah. 
Because we're not with the other Magirners in the discard, so. Yep, but we do have a way to bring it back, so. No, no, no. Yeah, there we go. So, we'll Ultra Ball getting rid of probably the Volkner and Tate. Yeah, because we're digging. Because, no, we only have so many cards left, so. Yep, so just the Neu if the Neuverns are in the deck, okay. Uh, but even so then. We bad. Yep. Now, dig for C with Cynthia. Yep, so. We'll. What do we want to do? I'm thinking. Well, bring out. Oh, actually, the other Lele is prize, so. Yep. Be so lucked out this time. Uh, let's at least confuse it. Give make Wait, it a little harder to hit you us. You didn't have access to this though. Yeah, so I'm thinking change clothes. We have the energy attachment for the turn. We would attach one to there, but we don't need a sprint. I don't want to dig through the deck that fast. Nope, we we don't need to right now. Besides, we're only at and 15 cards. It would help with the switching if he knocks it out. So. Mm -hmm. So either way, we're set up very very nicely for the revenge. And the thing is, he can always dig these out whenever he wants. So. Yep. All right, so TV reporters. Right, for energy or Giratina. Or huh? Ultra Ball. After a couple of turns, you don't need it. Wait. Giratina. Hold on. What, what does it do? It does four if it's knocked out by an attack? If, if it's knocked out. If it's knocked out or knocked out by an attack? Alright, when a second Pokemon attacks is knocked out from an opponent's attack. Okay, so even if he gets knocked out via confusion. Uh, right. So, energy. Yep. Let's rescue Stretcher, get some stuff back in the discard. Evolve the Noivern. Oh, that works too. Get rid of their... Uh... I like it. So, we'll change clothes, bounce the... Yep. You know, I don't even think I need to really say anything. No. Well, fine. Be I, went, I went after the tech. These keep it alive. It definitely makes sense. Um, real quick, I was going to say rescue stretcher, get some stuff back in the... Oh, why? Well, you do have one of each in there now. Yep. And then if they knock out the Lele, we still have another one, either in the prizes or in the deck that we can use to grab out. So we'll be good there. Well, we don't need a dig. And we could dig next turn if we need to. Yep, so another 140, and we're knocking things and out I'm with a bat. For, I'm looking for another Guzma. And there's yes. the Lele, should that one get knocked out because of... I hope we have three, at least three into the deck, so... Yeah, so we're we're looking good. Yeah, we get the re he, he gets the revenge, but we'll keep confusing. Mm -hmm. This whole big knocks itself out. I, yeah, hope I, I will though. admit that is one of the drawbacks to this deck is that yes we can get the knockout because of confusion and everything else but we're also very vulnerable for the revenge so that is definitely well, something to keep in mind there's another pokemon in the future that might actually see a bit more we'll see a lot more play because it is a basic right but i think the same issue still or still follows that yeah you can get the knockout with uh with neuvern with Sir, uh with serena and with s s with the new genghis khan the so the thing is Kangas Khan though, it's now basic. You know how much more room you have for the deck? Hypothetically, you run a minimum of three, still have the three main attackers, and st that's five more spots for the deck you have access to. That is very true, but what's its HP? <laughs> Almost a joke. 180? Exactly. So Well, versus 120. True. It does have a little bit more beef and survivability, but again, that same issue still lies. We get the knockout with the confusion set up, they're able to take the revenge. So unless we control their field a lot more than we have been, or even set ourselves up better than we have been, then it's not really going to help us out as much as we would want to. And then change clothes, confuse it, so it, hurts its, it knocks itself out. Potentially could knock itself out. If he attacks. Whether he attacks or not, he knocks itself out. True. Wait. Because he has to take four regardless. Oh. He, yeah. He takes a minimum three. 
four if he attacks. And there's no point in playing another one because we'll just deck ourselves out. Yeah. And we're running low on energy. That's why. Six of it's in the prizes, in the discard. How many DCs are there? Four? We're running four DCE and uh, uh, eight psychic or eight, eight fairy. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, all right, so now we've got another Malamar back on bench. This time, along with a uh, spell tag. Okay. Yeah, I think Kangas might be better than both, both except for it runs the same problem as Serena. It's only a promo as of right now. So. Oh, it's only going to be a promo? It's a oh, promo that's box. dumb. It's a promo box. Uh. I would almost Volkner for the recycle system. Yeah. Wait. I think it might have already been in there. Wait, unless you put I think it's already in there. It wasn't it was in the first hand. Oh, dang it. Um that we might end up losing this game because of oh. resource management. Um yeah, done. I mean that's all we can grab. So oh, he, now, he, he doesn't have to tag. He can he can technically stall us out. He can because we only got thirteen cards in deck. You know what? Drop the lele and no. Uh, let's see. No point in confusing. So yeah, I mean top decks. We're we're going off the top deck. Sometimes that's all that all that gets played. So okay, so. We now got a Garatina ready retreating. to go. Yep, there's the retreat. Put the two back on. Yeah, uh, this is not good. Because now we're. Yeah, I think with Kangaskhan, King, since it's a basic, it's more versatile. Although. I think it's a Call of Spoke, Pokemon. Mm -hmm. This isn't the only engine you can run. Just the Megarina Lele is the only part of it that needs to be in the deck. Yeah, I mean... At this moment in time. Actually, no. No, no it won't. Throw up the... I would throw up the Lele. No, I'd throw up the Lele. Hear me out. Drop the Lele. Drop the Megarina. Drop the Lele. I was going to add more cards to the deck. Hey. Drop the fairy charm. Alright, well, we, we want to add more cards to his deck so he can't stall us out. Because I was thinking if we Lily, we get two cards. Well, and we can go and grab this. Alright, run it through. I'm looking for the energies. I know. What if you put the fairy charm on? Do a switch. Done. Because I was almost sticking up Striker because like we need the energy that bad. And our, our judge didn't help us out at all. Mm -mm. Which is why I, I was thinking not... play out the hand, use the lily, that way we could have more cards in hand. I think actually I'm gonna I'm gonna zap strike us, so I have to. Yeah. We have to. Yeah, if we don't top deck energy, we have to. Oh, Tate Liza for the switch. Okay. Knock itself out just to get the. Because they're not. They know we're struggling for energy. Drop the Noibat. Hold on. I might have a fun idea. So. Fairy charm. Uh, well, no, we can't do the charm. Why do the fairy charm? We already have one. Well, it's not confused, but. Well, it will be. Just, I'm more worried about stuff in here. I know, I know, I know. Um, yeah, judge. I'm, I'm looking for the DCs and energy. That whole setup. Cool. So yeah, we have all DCE. Well, I was thinking DCE the Noibad and then just get rid of the items, but even then they're going to have so they're few. they're at a point where they can retreat and recover almost as, as quickly. Okay. 
And it's not that, it's the retreating, and this is our last Magirna. Yeah. Any stretchers? Still have one more we stretcher. We still have one stretcher. Uh, assuming it's not prized. Assuming it's not prized, exactly. Well, this will force them to switch the retreat. And almost kill itself in the process. Alright, so there's the spell tag. Guzma! What is it's gonna Guzma up the Noibrin. Okay, good. No, not good. This is why not good. Okay. I see your it, point. It, it doesn't matter what we do. Head or tails. He just retreats into the other one. Bring up the bring him up. Yep. It doesn't really matter what we play right now, so. Every play matters. Let's at least get the confusion. Put it on the Lele. What was the point? And now supersonic for the knockout, regardless. Now we got we another prize. Yeah, and then he, regardless. Yeah, I mentioned I mentioned number of prizes. Well, all right, matter. so all right, so well played. You have a good deck. Smiley face. Hey, we got a DC. Yeah, I want to. And now here is the knockout. He can, knock, he can even knock himself out. It won't matter. Yeah, so here's a knockout. Actually, he can just he can knock himself out. Bring out the next one. Keep going. Why? When you can just drop it on something else. So yeah, uh, that didn't go as well as I would have hoped, but uh, it really is a fun deck when it gets off the ground. So let's jump on in and take a quick look. All right. All right, so here is the deck in question. Uh, it's actually a very, very simple list, and it's all pretty much running around the Neuver. For uh, for one energy, it does supersonic for 20. And for three energy, it does resonance for 70. And if your opponent's active is confused, this attack does 70 more damage. Again, this is a lot like the Serena. The only issue is it came out in Forbidden Light. Therefore, it's going to be a lot easier to grab. It's it was, going to be a lot a, easier to play. It's a core set, so it's going to be easier to find, easier to get. Easier to play. Cheaper. Yep. You'll probably find these in your local card box. Exactly. So, again, like the main the main issue we end up bringing up is the fact it can hit the big numbers in order to secure some knockouts. But it can't take the big numbers. Tr that is very, very true. Uh, we did try running dumbbells for a while, but unfortunately they it go, didn't they, do... They put you in ran field more, and then you're, now you're out of Pokemon Plus, they hit on another one. Exactly. So, might as well go for the all-out defense and hope the confusion works. And understand you might lose it in the in the trade. But we also make sure to utilize the Tapu Lele and the Magirna engine. Uh, you got the Tapu Lele, which when you attach a char uh, fairy charm, you get to leave your opponent's active confused. Magirna, you get to bounce a tool for attached to one of your Pokemon into your hand, yes. put it back on, they're confused. You're not hitting 140 with Neuvern. Pretty simple strategy, pretty cheap and effective strategy. Uh, we also run a Zepstrika just so that we can have a little hand consistency because as you saw, yes. we needed energy, we needed things, and Zepstrika yeah, hopefully... Yeah, us until basically when we... they were set up. Although it is a big risky play because of the fact you can get rid of everything you need and then you're kind of SOL for the rest of the game. I uh, see, is there any other... Not really, it's just one of each charm just in case, but the thing is the charms don't really help anybody but Neuvern, so... No. Uh, and then uh, the only other thing we're running is uh, Sea of Nothingness. Uh, we were running Shrine, which adds some damage and everything else, but also we kind of realized that the one issue is, cool, I'll now evolve and I'm no longer confused, kind of taking away the strength of the deck. So this just makes sure they can evolve into something and just uh, say we we don't uh, deal with it. Uh, so without further ado, we'll kind of do a quick deck breakdown. 
Uh, we run one Ditto Prism. This is so we can go into the Blitzel uh, when we need to in order to draw cards. We run a 4-4 four, four Neuvern line. Uh, oh, another thing about this Neubat. So, double colorless energy, your opponent reveals their hand and discard all item cards you find there. On occasion, it hurts. Uh, it's the early game. It's very early game. This is really, really effective. So, don't don't discount the Neubat. Like, don't, don't say, oh, I'll just wait for the Neuvern. Utilize the Neubat while you have it, because... I actually kind of have an idea for him that's going to be hilarious, and I just need to figure out how to make it work. Let's just say you don't play anything unless I want you to. Uh, so we run a 4-4 Neuvern. We run two Tapu Lele from Lost Thunder, which oddly enough was really, really hard to pull. Apparently. So, because we only had one online, and we had to trade uh, for the other one. one online was the League Pro one. And in real no, life, we promo. yeah. And in got. real life, we have one. And we bought six six boxes. We bought a whole case. Yeah. And we, yeah, we we only pulled one, so it it's definitely one of the harder ones to do. Uh, Zep Strika, so that we can utilize the sprint in order to draw cards. Uh, we run two Magirna, because again, we're trying to utilize the Lele Magirna Lele Fairy Charm engine. Uh, we run two adventure bag that way we can pull out the charms as we need them and attach them as we need to So we're not wasting resources to grab yes. them uh, One re uh, energy recycle system so that we can get energy back. Don't discard uh, an opening hand Don't you have to exactly uh, we run three nest ball uh, Because well nest ball we want to get Lele we want to get Noibat we want to get ditto We want to get all those set up as soon as possible so that we're lining up knockouts as fast as we can as long as the energy supply is there. Uh, one pal pass so that we can get back any supporters that we need. This will be Cynthia, Le uh, Cynthia, Lily, uh, Guzma, Volkner, whatever we need. We run two rescue stretcher because, well, we want to be able to get Pokemon back nice. and it's pretty standard at this point. Uh, we run two switch because of the fact uh, we don't want to be re wasting resources get, uh, retreating all these Pokemon. Like one, 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 one. I think all of them are one. So we don't want to utilize energy in order to retreat. And to be honest, we couldn't find room for a skateboard. Or else we totally... Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can find room for an skateboard well, real right quick. right now we can't, so let's... Yeah, true. Because... And, and, and only uh, the, that third Guzma, though. The one we didn't have. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. That's fine. So we run two Ultra Ball because, well, Ultra Ball. Uh, two Shrine of Nothingness because, in fact, we don't want them to heal out of their confusion. Yes. Force them to use their Guzmas, Escape Ropes, yeah, Acerolas. Confusion will be a little bit stronger out of a condition. Yeah, so this will definitely come in handy with this deck uh, or decks like it. Uh, we run three Cynthia because Cynthia. We run two Guzma because Guzma. Because why not? Uh, we run two judge because why not judge and I uh, disruption manages our hand and whatnot. We run two Lily uh, that way we can draw cards and just load up as much as we can. We run one fan club so that we can get out any engine that we're missing within the first one or two turns. Uh, this could be Magirna and Alele, hey, no, hey, Noibats. Don't click the wrong button. Or click the wrong button. I. Uh, We've run three Taint Liza because of the fact it is easier to obtain than the uh, Cynthia. Cynthia. Plus, it gives us a switch option if we ever need it. So, you can't go wrong there. We run two Volkner. That way, we can grab out any trainers we need as soon as we need them. And yeah, because our main engine requires a trainer. Exactly. Or an item. Yeah, so, so turn one, Volkner, grab the Fairy Charm in order to attach it, or even Adventure Bag in order to grab the two charms and whatnot so we at least have options we run one of each charm currently so that's fighting grass uh maybe, dragon maybe and psychic lately the protection of the type it, it is so exactly even though i will admit a lot of like non-gx decks they're starting to show themselves in the so format charms are kind of redundant yeah so it's it, it's needed to make the deck work, but it's not absolutely necessary. You run one of each. We just want to have our bases covered because you've seen a lot of the crap we've gone up against. Uh, we run four DCE and eight uh, fairy energy. 
I know this seems low, but um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a quick change to this deck because there's a cup. I don't think we need two adventure bag. I think no. we can get away with the one. And honestly, I think we can get away with two and nest honestly, balls. I don't think that. Honestly, I don't think that Sea of Nothingness is necessary. The I Sea of Nothingness I, does help. Like, that's one I, uh, with all the testing that it needs. As far as that came out of the deck. Now, we'll end up making a quick last minute change. So now we have two Mina into the deck. So you're going to go DCE Mina? So DCE Mina, you're now set up and ready to go. I don't know why we took it out or didn't, didn't add it, it or something. I think it was me when I was tinkering. Yeah. Because I, I think I'm a good player. To, he likes to think. Yeah. When I'm the thinker. So that's pretty much the deck. He tests I, it. I think it. Yeah, that's true. But sometimes I've made a couple decks work. I mean, you have to give me credit. At least some decks have worked in the past when I have gone through and tinkered them. Don't ask. Gigalith. Gigalith is a prime example of I this. I gave you that chore because guess what? You didn't give me that chore. I was already going to build it, except I was trying with Turtonator. Mm -hmm. And then your brother, your brother actually brought up the Gigalith idea, and I made it work. Only because, I've, only because I've ran that deck for 10 years. But either way, uh, so we'll jump into another match, and then hopefully we get get to do better this time around. Right, and we are back. Uh, so let's see, it's grass colorless, so it's easily going to be, I'm guessing, a septile list. Probably. I mean, it's it's a really really good list. Uh, Tails never fails, uh, so, except when well, it does. Septile Se Vespa Queen with Ditto. Oh, I hope it's not Vespa Queen. Like it's an easy deck to deal with, but it's very very hard and annoying at the same time. Okay, uh, basic with a Cynthia opening, because well, it's kind of pointless. And we can actually throw a char the char we could probably throw the grass charm on there. Unless now. top deck is unless the top deck's a uh, an ultra ball. Oh, Leafeon. So the grass purple ones. So th I think Leafy. they're I think they're still uh, going. I think they're still going the uh, so, the septile engine. So charm on the the grass charm on to Magirna. So well, it gets it out of the hand, yep. so we can not draw back into it. Oh yeah, I get and it. And if it's GX, it's gonna be the most relevant one. Ooh, we got an Eevee. All right, so yeah, they're definitely going the Leafy on. Yep. And probably Leafy on the Rantis because there's no other real Eevee deck that runs just grass. But at least we or can. Or Leafy on stall, but. Wait, no, real quick. Prevent all damage done to Fairy Pokemon. Okay, so. Can he bench snipe? No. no, he can't. Okay. Depending on top deck, I might be able. We might be able to wall him out for a little so bit. So you mean top deck either an S ball or Lele? If we top deck an S ball, if we top deck a Lele, we we could or an Ultra Ball, we could potentially set us up. So let's see. So they're gonna Cynthia. We're probably gonna do the same thing. Probably. So now let's see. Our turn. Volkner. So okay, let's go Which to grab some Which one will probably lead to better choices in the end? Which one will probably lead to better choice in the end? As much you want to Volkner for the nest ball. Cynthia. You yeah. still wouldn't be able to switch out in time. This this is very very true. Well, look at that. Know that. You listen to me, and guess Know what? Know You got your Lele and an S ball. And you can still change clothes. Yep. Ditto. Just grab Ditto. And you can still change clothes and throw it back on Lele. Nah, 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 nah. Well, I'm not bad. Because we're going to be confusing that same turn. Well, I was going to throw the Lele out in order to, uh, in order to stall out. That's what? I just wish we had had a supporter in that, that hand, but we'll confuse him. Okay, now now I get what you're putting down. Worst case, so I don't want to say worst case scenario because it'll probably happen, but I just hope we get a top deck of some kind of supporter like Lily or another like Cynthia. Yeah, they'll knock themselves out eventually, or that. Or that, I'm okay with that. Shovel, shovel, draw five. Oh, <laughs> and we got a switch. And now we can put them in range where if they if they fail the coin flip they lose. 
yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, resonance. Resonance for they 140. Flip, they lose. And we don't even lose a full point if we. Oh wait, no, get... the, they can still heal with their uh, ability, right? Heal 50. Oh, yeah, but they're still in range. Yeah, they're still very much in range. And what's the point? They still need another energy to get out of range. There's that. No. Unless he heals a condition. Let's see if he can heal the condition or even play anything. Oh, Copycat. A, okay, so oh, he's going to... Oh, not just playing the 4-4. Four, four. There's the scoop. All right, so let's get into another match and see what we can do. All right, so we are back. Uh, dragon fighting, Garchomp. electric, Garchomp. Zorora? Coco. It's either Coco or Zorora. Free retreat, there's I mean. A, there's not a whole lot of dragons that have the C play. That's Sheriff Yay! fighting. Yay! Do Sheriff we want fighting to go first? Type. No, we want to go second. How many dragons do you know the Sheriff fighting type? Wait, Scare... Oh, no, that's wrong Scarecrow. I thought that was my buddy for a second. Well, how many? How and yeah, he has the mulligan. How many dragon types do you know that share a fighting type? And Coco no. is optional because you can still run with DC. Come, come oh, on, Hakamo, come on. That's it. And people and people were saying that it's a bad card. Like in the right conditions, it's actually a very, very good card. Okay, we got half the engine, and we got the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's also the dragon that doesn't doesn't care for fairy charm. If it's well, Komo, if he's playing the GX, come on, GX says shred. I don't care. I'm hitting for 130 regardless. Except for all effects on that Pokemon. That's right. All right, so fairy charm well onto Lele. Me. Start with confusion. Uh, we will yes, pull into either Magirna or uh, D uh, Magirna or Ditto. I'm thinking ditto. Wait, what's we... our other card? Nothing. Energy. And next round we can hypothetically um, disrupt them a bit. Yeah. Or blow them up. So. Yeah. Hopefully we can disrupt them with a little, uh, little destructive sound. I mean, the base drops. And, and let's... judge. Oh, well, makes well then. Oh, Here we go. A... Just so, just so they can't resist. And get rid of all your items. Dang it! So the electric is Helios, obviously. Uh, of course. Uh, of course, we did. All the decks for us to go up against is the starter deck. Or a starter deck. Yeah, but even then, if it can't... It, I don't remember Diancy Prism being in a in a deck. So they pulled it. Hmm. So, yeah, we'll go Lele. That kind of hurt. Hey, we got the Zep Striker. Let's... Tate Liza first. DC. Oh, we've actually we've already done the energy. No, we haven't done energy yet. No, we have. We've already done the supporter. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to DCE because he is running dragon and fairy, or in dragon is weak to fairy. I just hate that we're getting rid of. Hey, we're losing to a starter deck. Of all decks. Oh well. But, Our modified starter deck. But at least we have a next turn. Like depending. Stop that. Cynthia. Yeah, because I do not want to get rid of those DCE. Like I would rather Magirna. Uh, Ultra Ball getting rid of Volkner and Cynthia to grab a... Uh, hold on. Let's see how many fairy energy on the deck. 
three and three. He didn't grab anything. Oh well. Well, as I was a sub strike it. We need an energy. Maybe we will reinforce the confusion. Yep, we will reinforce confusion. We'll get rid of a Cynthia. Drop yeah, the Noia that. Hmm. Wait, how many energy are it in the discard? Apparently four. Uh, well, we had two shots to Noibad. So we've already used four energy? At least got rid of two because of, uh... Yeah, we at least got rid of two because of, uh, Sprint. Alright, so there's the comma. Uh -oh. I think Zeftrug is coming up for Parasect, and Parasect's a thing. So our charm that we need for the deck against uh, this deck. Yeah, so... Even though it won't work against this deck, assuming Shrek gets to go... Yeah, that is... Well, even then, so far he's not running the, the stage two. So either he's trying to... That's not... No, it does not like us for some reason. And again, excuse the sound. When we went against the Giratina deck, we went like four turns without an energy. Full turns without an energy. We will judge. Even though we only went through about half the energy. Yep. We still had half the energy to account for it. And only one of it was DC Fries so far. Or that we knew of. Or that we could find. So we will do that. Shuffle those back into the deck. We will fighting onto him. We'll get rid of Valkner. Valuable card, but... It's it just why I made sure to play as much as I could. What the, what the hell is this? To, uh, I know, right? How bad? The bring back Cynthia, Cynthia. I was thinking I had a Guzma to stack, but because we only have the two. I uh, I know, but we should be able to start dealing with it. That's what I said by Giratina. All right. So now we got a Kukui. It is the GX. There's so the GX. Still charm. confused. But that charm would have. The meant charm anything. is now gone. Unfortunately. Well, no, that charm would have meant anything. It, it just mm. wouldn't allow admin ad, adamantian press from going anywhere. Yeah, very true. Um. Well. I'm gonna Unfortunately, ultra the card ball. we want to hit is in the active. Yep. I'm going to Ultra Ball to grab a Noibat. Going to Zep Strika. Uh, so now, the there we go. Fairy on the Noivern. We will switch. Yes, in the future, Kangaskhan will probably be better in, in, for the most part because, well, Kangaskhan has more access to two tricks and stuff in the deck. And can run with almost any type instead of specific. Yeah, pretty much. The only reason I wait for Fairy is because of Mina. And so then Lele could attack too. If needed. Because of that. Uh, because right now, what's like the big dragon Pokemon? You've got Rayquaza. And well, if you're attack, using that to attack for Rapaza, you need Toy Span to even put a dent three. in it. So he's gonna try to shred. Oh, and he did. Convenient RNG. Very awesome. convenient. Let's give, him, let's give him Sub Strike it, because we don't need it after Sub Strike it. Well, I was thinking this is Sub Strike it, because after a while Sub Strike is kind of pointless, because we don't want to use uh, using Sub Strike right now. This is true. Okay, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to shuffle draw five. We will Don't put on don't put on Como. We don't need it on Como. We don't need it on Lele. Get it get the engine going. There you go. So now just change as long as stays confused, we're fine. Yeah, so, so don't no need to sprint. Look, card, cards in deck. 
I we, know. Can do, we can do that much damage with Cindy alone. But we only got one Mina in the, de or in the discard. It's not the Mina I'm worried about. It's getting to the next Sniper. We have two options in, in hand slash deck to work with. Will Cynthia hopefully get a Neuvern and DCE? Except now we don't have the switch. However, we can still confuse the Pat Patrice. Just don't put on the active one. We may be paralyzed, but you're. We confused. need a turn. We can use, retreat next turn. If not, we can switch next turn and actually save the energy and then just attack attack with Neuburn. I'd rather get the other Guzma, but... Yeah. Is, do we still have the other Guzma? We do. So we still have access to the other Guzma. If we top deck, we'll use that instead. Get, get Neuburn out of there, or Como out of there completely. Just make sure Neuburn never has a tool to begin with. Although it makes me wonder why he's running Diancie when he's running no fighting. Because Diancie only helps fighting Pokemon. And yes, uh, no, it would be nice to have if you, choice band would be nice for the deck. A little bit increased power. Well, now we have something we want to hit in the active. And yeah, now we're searching for one. We don't need a switch. Trying to dig. There we go. There's the Neuvern. And confusion. Oh, confusion, yep. Yeah. At 140, 50, 60, 70. So he fails, he gets knocked out, we get two prizes. So now it comes down to what is their play. However, it doesn't really matter because they knock, out, knock themselves out. We get two prizes, they just open up a possibility. Mm -hmm. They just open up a Como for attacking. Or that. Or that, then they'll shred. But we still got one turn ahead of them. Yep. So long as the. Still have actually a couple fairy energy, so. Yep. Unless they're all prized, which wouldn't be surprising. This is the. Uh, so let's see. We will. Get the charm out of our hand. Yep. Just put the charm onto. Uh, so yeah, this would be Put the extra charm on a McGearna so you don't draw into it. Charm on a McGearna. Lily for three. Cynthia for three. It doesn't really matter. We just need to hit an energy. There's the energy. And then we now, will... Now, without judge, we're pretty much have two turns to take six prizes. Well, here's one prize. Two prizes. Or right, here's two. As in, we need two. We we would have needed three turns to take out four. We could still pull this off because Eight. let's see. What? Three, six. Okay, so yeah, this is our last energy. That's our last energy. And now, I believe we, all uh, judges have been used. Nope, only one judge has been used. Uh, no, go back. Go back. Judge. Okay. Both users have been used. We, as in, we have two, had two more turn, the next turn to gather as many prizes as we can, to gather four prizes. The guy can just stall us out. Yeah. As much as I like that drag, I think it needs to change to the Parasect spot when uh, it drops. Except for, I guess too fast for this deck. Yeah. In addition to Cynthia and Lily. As in with this, we'll, we'll need more shovel draw versus stuff that just 
purely draws. Because if Zeptrak is drawing already, we don't need Lily. We almost don't need Cynthia as much due to the fact how much it draws. Oh. Good thing you did bench the other Magirna. Yeah, it's a good thing I bench the other Magirna too. Actually, how many cards are in hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, actually, it wouldn't matter because six, six for six. If I were taking Liza, that would be one more, one more turn. Doesn't matter. I'll throw it in over. Keep the pattern going. Obliterate, and then it's over. Yep. Well played. You have a good deck. Smash the face. Taking Liza? Oh, no. Nope. Mina! So, in the future, Trust Strong's changes? <laughs> yes, Trust Strong's changes. But I. Because uh, there was a reason why I had few, uh, more Tain Lies than Cynthia's with the deck with Zeb Stryka. I've noticed the one thing about Zeb Stryka is that if you let it just go, you run out of deck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. In conjunction to Lily being in the deck as well, you, it, it, um, Zeb Stryka burns through the deck too fast. Okay, so we definitely might have to do like a uh, 2.0 build on this because I did well, kind of mess it up a bit. Unfortunately, so I. Unfortunately, I have oh, cool, a. Pack. I like a higher Taint Lies account, but in most cases, well, Taint Lies is better for counter decks. Where yeah. Cynthia is in a deck where you just need to dig. Yeah. Where in Cynthia is where you just need to dig. Okay, but yeah, we do. We got a couple more decks set up. Uh, figured we'd just take it easy on our first video back yeah. from, from everything. But uh, let us know, what did you guys think of the list? What changes would you guys make? Let us know down in the comments. While you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Poton Hero yourself. Hit us up on PTCGO. We are Po underscore Town underscore Heroes. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Poton Heroes. As always, may all your games go well, and may the top deck be in your favor. Till next time.